Hey guys, so as you saw in the title of this video, I'm assuming because that's probably why you're watching it, unless you're just a subscriber and you just watch all of my videos that I make. <sighs> but that's not the point. Anyways, I made a five ton mini forging press out of a mini five ton log splitter. So here it is. I have the forge fired up and we're gonna squish the steel. Okay, so got the forge, it's lighting. It's already lit. It's heating up here. Um, it is. So I welded up all this. This is like the biggest welding project I've ever done, which is kind of surprising because it's actually not that much welding. But it did take me like a solid four hours, mainly because I had a bunch of fit up and I have removable dies. So I can put in like round dies, square dies, drawing dies. All that. It has a foot pedal, which when you press on this, it actuates that because it's a two-handed, so I can't exactly hold to push the button and do that with both hands and hold a pair of tongs at the same time. So I press this with my left hand, stomp on that, and yeah, here it goes. Turn it on. spike so they're thicker than a railroad spike they're like three quarters of an inch thick or something they're pretty big and then I also have some smaller ones like really small ones and then some medium ones so two large ones two small ones and then two mediums so yeah let's go squish that spike once it's hot okay so I'm low on propane it's as hot as I Here's a piece of the oil spray. Whoa, that straightened that like crazy. Let's try this side where it's a little bit hotter. That's pretty good, I think, for it not being very hot. So I'll take that. And it's, yeah, like I said, not very hot. So I switched the tank for a tank with a little bit more propane. 
Okay, so I am sorry that I did not make really anything in this video, or at least make and finish, but you have to admit that log splitter forging press is like really cool. Um, I'm quite glad I made it. It spent, um, I mean, it took me like six hours to make the whole thing. Um, but it is pretty cool, I think. So I got the interchangeable dies. I can make round ones, whatever. Um, it's just right next to my forge. I can just get my tongs, go straight from the forge to here. Not even a full turn. Um, so yeah, I have over here this little box gluing up. I'm gonna put that right there and then it will catch the forge scale and then I can like see how much forge scale I make in like a month or something. So yeah, make sure you like and subscribe if you like this video in any way and I will see you in the next one. Bye.